pump, an oil pump. It's called an A-pump. If you guys can take a look. That's right. So they are very common, so it's an A-pump. So I loosen the screw so you guys can uh, see me take this off. Once I take this, take this off, you guys can see there's an actual filter. We call this a strainer. And this is the A-pump. So you guys know the model. You guys can see it. Made from Suntec. This right here is a strainer. And they're very common to get dirty. As you guys can see, it's filthy. So you want to replace this called an A-pump strainer. We have one brand new. So it's an A-pump strainer. You guys can see it looks something like this. I don't know if that helps you guys out, but if you guys want to look it up online, you can find it online as well. All right, so let's get started. You have a gasket, an A-pump gasket. It looks something like this. It's very important to replace and get your strainer. You can obviously see the difference between the new and the old. I'll just show you here. This is the old. It's not that bad. It could be worse, but you can see the difference. I'm going to replace it. This has the gas right here. Sometimes it gets stuck, so you want to peel it off. Peel it off carefully. All right, we're taking it off right now. You guys can see it's completely off. Sometimes they rip and pieces stay on, so you have to get a scraper and scrape it off the face of the, the, the pump. So you want to make so you can see it's nice and clean. There's nothing, no old gasket, nothing. Okay, so we're about to replace the gasket. Well, we just remove the old one. There's the new one. There's also a way to put this on together because there's actually a little hole right here in the top, in the middle, and it's right here. So you want to line that up together. You see the difference. This one doesn't have it on this side, but this one does. And it's kind of pretty pretty simple, straightforward, because if you put it the other way, upside down, it doesn't line up anyway. So it's kind of idiot proof. So you put it right here, it lines up. You put the new strainer, just like that. It's in there. All right. It's in there, we're gonna put the, the cap back on. Always wanna make sure there's any residue. You see there's any residue here, so we're gonna take it out. Clean it with the same oil. All right, now we'll put the cap back on. Of course, you definitely want to use gloves. I don't like using gloves. It bothers me after a while, so don't mind me. But I suggest using gloves. If you guys are old school, then you'll understand what I'm talking about. If you guys are the younger guys that were already getting your hands dirty, then yes, get some gloves. I put them, I put the screws in by hand because sometimes you do it with the Allen key or the wrench or whatever it is you're using. Sometimes you can strip it, you don't realize you're stripping the actual thread. So the first thing I like to do is do it with my hand first. It don't have to be over the top tight, meaning like He-Man tight, like I like to say, but it has to be tight enough that it's snug, that it's not gonna leak. Of course, what creates the oil pump from not leaking is the actual gasket. All right, I think I'm pretty happy and content as far as I tightening it up because they're pretty snug. Now we're gonna we're gonna remove this blowout gun. Always try to use an adjustable or an open end box wrench. In this case, it's an adjustable. It's a matter of preference. I mean, you could use a channel locks, but it's best practice to use an adjustable or an open end wrench. Okay.